Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through the list of books that I read. I'm just looking at my Goodreads because um, I don't remember all of them. But I'm just gonna run through my Goodreads and talk about the books I read and what I thought of them. Um, some of them, if they do have trigger warnings, I'll see if I can make sure to like touch on them. If not, then I'll link the trigger warning book site below, which is a big help. So I mean, if you have any sensitive topics, like go use it. It's really fun and easy. Well, not fun, but you know what I mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so overall in September, I read 14 books. Um, the first book I read was Crown of Coral and Pearl, which is basically about this girl. I don't remember her name I'm sorry but she's a twin sister and so they um live in these like shacks on the ocean um which that was really interesting like they're not allowed to go on land and so each generation um somebody from her village goes to the land to marry the prince um so basically the, she falls in love with the prince's younger brother um, there's supposed to be a sequel. There's going to be a sequel. Um, I loved how it touched on beauty standards. I thought the whole thing with beauty standards was really, really good. And they, um, so the whole thing with beauty standards, they touched, it was sort of like the uglies where they have to be perfect. Um, and so they touched on that. It, I really liked how I could connect it to my own life and I know that a lot of other people can probably connect to it. Um, the next book I read was Dear Martin by Nick Stone which is one of my favorite books I think I've read this month and so basically it's about this boy Justice and so he's writing these letters to Martin Luther King about his life and sort of what's going on and how he's struggling with being seen as like a threat or like you know, him going to this prestigious school about how he's a sort of like better than every other black person because he's there when he isn't. It's just the systematic um, inequalities that we have in place that have limited other people's abilities to be able to receive that higher education that they should have. Um, so he writes these letters and he talks a lot about his life and I thought it was really interesting because just having that narrative and seeing everything that's going on in his brain um next I read Crooked Kingdom this Kaz and Inej um that like got me really emotional um I really liked seeing them both develop um there's gonna be spoilers in a moment so um skip about 30 seconds and I'll see if I can put squeeze everything in starting right now okay so the whole thing with Kaz and Inej is that I love that they weren't their trauma wasn't healed by love their trauma was them growing as people and they're learning to work together um so I really loved that and the I really want SOC3 so we'll see where that goes uh Leigh Bardugo please all right no more spoilers you're good okay so basically um the rest of the book I really liked I thought that the writing was really cool and it like the first two chapters had me like freaking out because of the ending of the first book and then just there were so many like plot twists and like different threads that all came together at the end and it like fit really nicely um, I'm really looking forward to reading King of Scars because I haven't read that yet. Um, and that brings me to the next book I read, Ruin and Rising, so I know what's happened with Nikolai and I, him and Zoya, like, please, I need more content with them. Um, so yes, Ruin and Rising, Leigh Bardugo, uh, third Grisha trilogy book. Okay, so I loved Ruin and Rising, but I also, I'm sorry, but I don't like Mal. Um, I feel like he had a lot of potential to be a really great character, but I don't think that I ever made a connection with him. I don't, I feel like a, a lot of him was just there for Alina. He, he was there to be Alina's 
relationship um and her motivation which i think is cool but i also wanted to see him beyond that i wanted to understand more of who he is um overall it was a really good book i don't really like how they tried to give the darkling a redemption arc um i think it sort of failed like i think that in the end i was like no like you tried to make him into this huge villain and then you just sort of took him off a pedestal and you just sort of realized Okay, so it's like he was a big, huge villain, but then Leigh Bardugo, like, took him off that and tried to say, oh, he's not a big villain. Like, he's just, he's misunderstood. I'm like, well, that doesn't excuse all the things that he did, you know? Um, ooh, next I read Let's Talk About Love, which I actually have a school copy of, um, because I checked it out from the library. This, for me, I loved, 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 loved this book. Um, so it's by Claire... Con. It's about this girl. I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. Alice. Her name is Alice, and she's asexual, which like same. And so she talks a lot about her struggles, um, falling in love and like being in a relationship. She's also bisexual, well, I guess bi romantic. Um, one thing I also loved is that there was so much diversity and I felt like I saw a lot of that diversity in this book. Um, Takumi, I love Takumi. Takumi, if you're real, hit me up. Like, I'd love to, like, get to know you, please. Um, I loved how it also talked a bit about stereotypes and it talked a lot about the issues of coming out and, like, being fully... Fully accepting of your own sexuality, even if it, even if you know it's you, sometimes it's hard to be really accepting of that. All right, so next, um, Spider Wick Chronicles. I started those again. Mark Hamill's reading the audiobook that I'm listening to, and it's sort of strange because, like, I hear Luke Skywalker, but it also Loki doesn't sound like him because I have the audiobook at two times speed. So, um, so I read the third and the fourth one, which was The Ironwood Tree and Lucinda's Secret. So, those were good. I also, th okay, so the fourth book cover is this picture of Mal, Mallory, Mallory, sorry. And she looks like Snow White. And like, I have always, my whole life, I've been like, that's the most beautiful book cover ever. She just looks beautiful. Okay, next, I finally read Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which I also have a copy of because my library. Um... That, Aris, Ari was such a good character. I don't know if people pronounce his name Ari or Ari. Ari. Aristotle, Aristotle. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go with Ari because now I'm going to go with Ari. Okay. I really loved Ari's character because I felt like I could relate to it so much. Um, Just being a teenager and trying to grow up and like loving your parents but also having so much trauma and like tension between you that like sometimes it's just hard to communicate and like say things um him and Dante were really cute I loved their relationship and how they grew as characters and I love being able to see them communicate with each other and fall in love I thought it was really cute it's like if you haven't read it like go read it it was really good next I read Ever Cursed by Mary Ann Haydu um this does have trigger warnings um if you're struggling with either an eating disorder, um, like sexual assault or rape, there is, the copy that I have, there was a note from the author in the beginning, which had all that. And I was very appreciative of that, because, like, how many authors do that, you know, off the top of your head that you know? Um, it wasn't terrible. I think that the message was really good, but it was also one of those books where there was two main characters and they switched perspectives. And I really have a hard time with those, like a really hard time, because I can't focus at all with them. And so I, it was, the plot was really interesting. Um, I think I wanted to see, I want to see sort of what happens next. Oh, one thing I did love is she had very, like, so this isn't like set in our world, but she had very normalized, like, LGBT 
plus like representation in there. One of the princesses is transgender. Um, I think the f they're open to like them loving whoever. Like the father on multiple occasions says, "Like, look, find yourself a prince or a princess. I don't care." Um, and then one of the princesses is sapphic. I don't know what exactly, but um, it was just really that open, you know, like normalization of it, which I really liked because, you know, just because you're in a fictional world doesn't mean that there's going to be, there's, I mean, doesn't mean that there's not going to be like people of color or people who aren't straight um, or white, like, sorry to break it to you, SJM, but like, there's other people, so. I'm back, sorry, I'm back, sorry. I got busy, so I had to leave and do stuff. Um, so as I was saying, I have not read SJM's books, but I've heard stuff. Love, so I'm not gonna read them. Don't try and make me read them, no. Um, anyways, as I was saying before, what did I stop at? What did I... Sorry, pushing buttons. All right, so I stopped at load okay there we go I stopped at ever cursed okay um yeah so lack of representation um of like POC representation was poor in my opinion um next I read to kill a kingdom um which was an enemies to lovers and I think I rated it a four um I liked the whole pirate thing the pirate thing was like yeah yes for me um but that's just me and my pirate obsession so i don't know how other people will like it um and then the writing wasn't terrible i liked the plot concept um i think most of the royalty was poc which i really enjoyed seeing um all right, so the next I read Stamped, uh, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You. So I read this, I think it was recommended to me. I don't remember by who, but I read it. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a good book, and I. it wasn't like a history book. It wasn't like trying to preach at you or like giving you dates and like, not like a history class where it's like, memorize this. Um, it was reading a story and understanding that story and how it affects people's lives every day. Um, I think the author did a very good job of writing the book. I think it was very eye-opening and it just sort of helps cement everything, um, that I've learned so far. Um, just sort of emphasizing things putting me on the right track I guess um so then I next I finally finished The Secret History by Donna Tartt and I have very mixed feelings on this book because I was reading the ebook and each chapter in the ebook is like 300 pages um so like her writing I really like her writing style I think it's really interesting but she also, like, why did she need to write so much? Like, in the end, I feel like it paid off, like, all that reading. And I feel like, you know, as you're reading the book, the pacing's really slow. But then it just sort of picks up and then suddenly you're at the climax and it all, like, comes together. And you're like, whoa. Um... I think a lot of it, it was easier for me to understand because I take Latin and so like all the Latin phrases that they use and I think there was a lot of stuff drawn from Greek tragedy um, and that clicked in my brain for me but I don't, th I think if you don't know that then it's not going to be as fun of a read. Um, it was good, it was interesting, there are a whole ton of trigger warnings for that one though. Um, so I would, if you're interested in reading it, just check it if you need to. 
Um, once again, link down below for the book trigger site. And then, oh, I finally finished Artemis Fowl, which I was like reading for a month. Um, that was good. I read it in like sixth grade, like last time. So it was fun rereading it. Um, I also watched the movie recently, so I think definitely I saw those differences. Um, it was, there was definitely a lot of different things I noticed. The movie was good. The book and the movie are just different though. Um, next I finished Labyrinth Lost, which I don't know where it went, honestly. Um, that one was really good. It's, I think it's about a Mexican family. I think they're Mexican, yeah. Um, and so the girls are brujas or witches. Um, and so they, it's about this girl and her, she's a really powerful bruja. And I really liked it. I thought that the writing was really good and it was a really interesting story. So, I mean, if you haven't, if you're interested in reading it, like, go ahead and check it out. Um, so, I think this month, yeah, 14 books total. Hopefully October I can read more. I have an extra day to read, so I'm going to DC, so I'm bringing books with me. I have like 21 ebooks on my phone. <laughs> like, I just, yeah. So I'll be driving. Well, I won't be driving. My dad will be driving, so I'll be able to read the whole time. Hopefully. And I can work on my cross stitch, so I'm excited. Um, oh, I just remembered there's Pirates of the Caribbean books. Um, maybe I'll see if I can read those this month. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Um, anyways, I hope that you're all doing well. Um, have fun reading in October. September has been fun. Um, definitely interesting. So, uh, reach out to me if you need anything. Um, my Twitter and stuff is below. Um... I'm always here if you need me, like really. Um, have fun reading if you want book recommendations or you want to give me book recommendations, like hit me up. Um, I'm good for anything. So anyways, um, take care of yourself, my lovelies. 